Hello, my wonderful Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Okay? I want to be, ch I want to check the energies. I want to see what's going on. How are y'all vibing? How are y'all handling all these cycles and shifts? And these currents. <laughs> Spirit said currents. So I know y'all feel it. Y'all been feeling it for the longest, Spirit said. And people have not been listening to you, Pisces. They don't understand how wise we really are. Beyond measures, beyond planes and space. Pisces are very, very spiritual. Very knowledgeable. We see things before they come, before they happen. We are, to, we are supposed to prepare the collective with our intuition, our to intuitive side. We are the alarms that something is wrong within the universe, within the planet. Something is wrong. We are the alarm system of that. We feel it the most. And we've been feeling it for a very long time. And people don't like to put respect on our name on top of that. Okay, Pisces? People don't like to put respect on our name. They look at us in a way that we are, but we are other things. That's just the surface level energy. They don't even understand how deep it is for us. So they tend to neglect us or look past us. Or tend to try to put us in a box that we don't fit. Hello, my name is Sherry Napoleon, okay? And I am a Pisces. Okay? I'm a player by my Pisces clan. I'm channeling. Love my Pisces people. Some of the best people I've met have been Pisces. I, ha I haven't really... The best people I've met have been Pisces. I'm not going to hold you. And Sag. Woo, Sag. Love my Sages. I love all the signs equally. But certain signs balance me out the most. I like like a, 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 a good time. Good time. Good vibes. Positive vibes. We on the same mental level. So conversation is always fun. We silly as hell. We like to turn up in our way. It's wine, laughing, joking, key, 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 and, you know. We don't even need that. Just, just the energy that we bring to the table alone is a vibe. We are very intuitive, Pisces. Your intuition is about to be popping off the charts. Popping. I'm going to need you to work with that energy. Your gifts are being heightened. Heighten, high level heighten. Ooh, your intuition is gonna be on point, and y'all are going to be transforming into some beautiful, beautiful, well-rounded people. Ooh, the energy y'all going to be exuberating, exuberating is going to be so magnificent, so luscious, so deep, so charismatic. Okay, Pisces, I'm feeling y'all energy, galactic energy. I'm getting a lot of galactic energy off the Pisces collective that I'm picking up on. Ooh, y'all don't need to know much about much because y'all know a lot about a lot. <laughs> okay? What y'all had to learn was this, not being a martyr to your good, kind heart and emotions. And the, your empatheticness, the way you see things, people, places, and things. Peace. 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 That's what y'all all about. Peace. That car was calling to me. Peace. And enlightenment. Joy. Happy. Abundance. That's where y'all go. That's where y'all flow into. And guess what? Guess what? You ready for this? You want to know how spirit ain't playing? Peace, 31, okay? Breaks down to a four. I mean, breaks up. Three plus one is four. Protection. Water Lily. My name, my channel is Water Lily Tarot. Okay? Peace. This is what I embody. Peace. Heavenly protected. Grounded. Nurturing. Loving. 
this energy right here, Pisces, is what we should have been protecting along the line of this journey. This is what we were aiming for. But with this type of energy, you got to know what to keep and what to throw away. What is your peace, Pisces? What brings you peace, wisdom, comfortability? What is it? When you start asking yourself those questions, you will receive answers. But my Pisces is on it. They know exactly what their piece is. They've, they've been building themselves around it for the longest. Pisces, yeah, I don't even know if y'all know that y'all have been doing this. But the Pisces Collective I've been pill picking up just now, y'all build yourself around y'all piece. To keep y'all grounded and y'all protect it. Y'all protect this piece at all costs. I keep getting the numbers 3332. 3332. Three, three, peace. Protect your peace. Protect your intuition. Pay attention to how much y'all giving to, to others. Y'all need to be balanced and centered right now. Okay? Love is coming, Pisces. Oh, love is coming and is coming strong. Oh, it's going to be so fruitful, so wonderful. The way we like it. The way we like it. Okay? The way we like it because we have leveled up. Meditation. Do a lot of meditation. Do some more meditation. That'll help you get grounded. That's just to control your brains and the. The things that intrude without you wanting it. Rebirth. Inner strength. And I get listening. Let me bring these cards to me as I put them in order like a, a crazy person. <laughs> Listen, the colors in the cards in a certain um, lineup speaks to me. It speaks to me about a lot of things, but then... I got rebirth. Ooh, Pisces. Rebirth. Look at all this confusion. Do you see all this confusion, confusion around this car, within this car? Do you see the confusion? But if you look deeply, you start to see things peeking through the through the um confusion. This is a moth. Or is it a butter? This is a butterfly. I heard moth to a flame burned by the fire. Somebody, listen. Somebody wants to be with somebody a lot. And I keep hearing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know where that's coming from. But somebody is sorry. But Pisces, you have been rebirthing yourself. Y'all have been remothering yourselves. Getting through the fog of your mind. We think about so many things at one time. Getting through the fog of your mind, trying to calm it down. Trying to contain those thoughts and all those things. Putting it in order. Compart car car what is it? Putting it in order. Putting it in order. I keep hearing calm compartmentalized compart what it'll, it'll come Com compartmentalizing like putting things in order that's what spirit said compartmentalizing putting things in order getting your lives back together getting your lives back together getting your emotions under control I feel like y'all building y'all structure back. Building y'all structure back. Looking at yourselves for who y'all have been and who y'all want to become. I heard destiny. I heard destiny. Destiny awaits you. Inner strength. Pisces, very strong. Very strong. Inner strength. Inner guidance. Inner wisdom, I heard. Deep. Deep inner strength. Like, this Pisces Collective I'm put, picking up on, it is so strong. Like, y'all cannot fold. 
Y'all can't y'all can't be broken down. Y'all can't be torn down. It's a, it, it goes against everything that you are. Giving up. Giving up is not a choice. It's not an opportunity for this Pisces collective that I'm picking up on. I hear strong and resilient. Damn. People. Warriors. That's what you call them. That's what you call them. Warriors. Damn. That's that energy. Y'all need your own anthem. This, um, <laughs> you hear me dancing. This Pisces collective that I'm picking up on, these are freaking warriors. This energy is strong. This energy is fierce. Tough. Warriors. I'm just on this, this groove right now. I'm like, yo, I like that. The Pisces is stepping up to the table. Understanding y'all run the table in the other world. Guess what, people? The spiritual world is coming to you. Okay? Right outside your door. And guess who's equipped to deal with it? Oh, these Pisces. These Pisces are warriors in the spiritual realm. Warriors. Oh, they take many shapes. They take many shapes, many forms, shapes, shifters. I hear the tree of life. Earth, wind, and fire. That's what I heard. The tree of life. Earth, wind, and fire. Third eye chakra. Third eye chakra. Third eye chakra. Damn. This Pisces collective listen to a lot of music. And you can have this Pisces aspect in your chart. Because you know our chart is made up of different signs. So everybody got some Pisces in their chart. This this group listen to a lot of music. A lot of music. They learn by listening. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> and in the guidance. <laughs> and in the guidance. Yes, it's a Pisces. It's, it's a genre. Not everybody's welcome in. Okay? Y'all speak clearly of what y'all want what y'all don't want y'all have no problem telling people what y'all want or what y'all don't want the problem is the people don't be believing y'all they don't be believing the words that you speak because they think you are weak feeble-minded how dare they how dare they y'all been hanging back in the shadows Cause y'all y'all about to be cool. Y'all been hanging back in the shadows, but y'all about to be cool. Hanging back in the shadows, yo. This Pisces group is the vibe is peace, a good vibration like a shade type of energy. Mmm, I love it, Pisces. Leveling up. Ascension. This is what y'all know how to do the most. Peace. This is y'all strength. Peace. Y'all don't play with people trying to come after y'all. Peace. You got to go. I'm a Pisces, I know. I don't play about my peace. I don't play about my God either. Okay? And my God might be different from your God, but it's all the same God. This, my God just shows themselves to me in a different way. My God is everything. Everything. Everyone. There's no division. That's my God. Not something that was created in the book to keep us confirmed, to keep us confined. No. My God says, be the best you can be every day your, your eyelids open up. Every time your feet hit the ground. This is you making a choice to be the best you you can be and not let nobody get in your way. And they're going to come upon you. They're going to try to freaking drag you down to their lower energies. Do not let these people. I made you this strong for a reason to overcome. 
You have overcame. Okay? We birthed in yourselves. Taking a back seat because y'all know the world's going to need y'all. Y'all purpose is strong. And, and I hear vast. Y'all purpose is strong and vast. I'm hearing weak-willed. A lot of weak-willed people try to come against y'all. A lot of people try to change y'all into something that y'all were not. But y'all could not be changed. Too much groundedness inside. From trials and tribulations, lessons, learning. Alright, Pisces Collective, I like that. I see y'all, okay? Ooh, this Pisces Collective is fierce. I like it. I like that energy. Blessed and exchanging gifts, okay? Blessed and exchanging gifts. Unfinished symphony. You can have an unfinished symphony with somebody or somebody feel like they got an unfinished symphony with you and they want you to be flexible. Ooh, no. <laughs> That is the same information, and I got to shuffle that. <laughs> okay. No. I need to make sure I shuffle these cards right. Because that message came out in the Scorpio reading, and I need to peace. Peace. And yang within self. Getting balance within self. So let's see. I was like, uh-uh. No, baby. What else? What we got for the Pisces Collective? Pisces Collective. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, there's no coincidences, okay? Come to the edge. There's no coincidences at all, I promise you. Exchanging gifts, the changing the wind. And never in this story in reverse. I would love to see that in reverse. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you, spirit. Because I'm like, ugh. Thank you, spirit, darling. All right. We got a change in the wind, people. A change in the wind. Times are shifting. Times are changing. We are evolving as a collective, as a whole. There is going to be a lot of groundedness. There's going to be a lot of people starting their own businesses. There's going to be a lot of people leaving their jobs. Leaving their jobs. Taking, taking a new direction on themselves. Trusting themselves in their higher power. I'm getting three. Twelve breaks down to a three. Getting three. That's what I heard. 12 breaks down to a 3. Listen, not only that, y'all going to really start seeing people for who they really are. Y'all going to start seeing people for who they really are. Pay attention. It's going to be hard not to pay attention. Let me say that part. Peace. You already know this is what keeps us sane. We got to keep our stability intact or we go offline, okay? We don't need to go offline. We don't need to go offline at all. People don't know what that is for us. But we do. So listen, stay away from, from people who try to tamper with your peace, okay? We don't need to go offline and go rogue. No, 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 no. Protect your peace at all costs. You are your peace. You are your peace. And y'all are going to be protected as well. Spirit is not trying to let nothing interfere with y'all peace. That's why y'all been in hermit mode for a very long time. Hanging man, temperance. Learning, growing, and evolving. Ooh, child, my nose is itching. And I'm getting real stuffy. I always know when the energy is shifting. Everything starts to change. Hold on. cranberry juice right a splash of pomegranate juice lemon water and i'm talking about the what is it cransden cransden juice 
it's like eight dollars for a cranberry juice it's it's strong though it's bitter so that's why i miss it mix it with like splashes of juice and a little bit of sugar and some water you know it's good for the the uterus the uterus it's good for the body cranberries you know taking care of the women take care of your bodies people Take care of your body is the reason why I was talking about that. I notice the more I eat better and I am aware of what I'm putting in my mouth and, and, and feeding my body like with love, the better my body is. Everything is just starting to work perfectly. Losing a lot of weight, not eating meat or anything no more, doing a lot of walking. Staying scented, staying grounded for this level up. I know my body has to be in good shape in order to keep getting these downloads and these um, ascensions. So take care of your body. I had to say that God put it out on me for something. I got exchanging gifts. Pisces. Y'all going to be getting a lot of things come to y'all. A lot of gifts, a lot of guidance, a lot of wisdom. Because of what you've been through. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Pamper yourself. Treat yourself good. Never end this story, but it's in reverse. That's good. That says that somebody finally learned the lesson. Somebody learned the lesson within this collective. They realized that the never end this story was their patterns and behaviors and ways. Once that change that sets the game back to reset. Once you once you learn from that lesson what it was, puts the game back to reset. And now you you're you're on, you're, you're, you're on your path. Continue to stay on that path. Don't let nothing knock you off. Especially not your friends. I keep hearing what about your friends? So I don't know who spirit is trying to warn about these friends. But I keep hearing snakes in the wind. Chop wood. Somebody was been taking care of themselves. Healing themselves. On their spiritual journey. Uh, trying to understand what it is. What it means. Getting educated. Somebody's getting ed educated on this journey. Finding peace. I heard this person is finding peace. And guidance. Okay. All right, thank you, Spirit. And guidance. All right. I like that. I like that. I love when people are on their journey. That means they're going to be taking care of them, getting back in touch with them, so they could be good people for other people who want good people. You know? We weren't all equipped with the tools to be good people. Some of us was was taught to be not good people. Only if it benefited us. And that's still wrong. That's not right. Let me make sure my cards is right. You know? You've got to take a, a look in the mirror at yourself. And at yourself. Am I, am I who I want to be? Am I on the right path? Am I with who I supposed to be with? Like, you got to start questioning yourself. Especially if you're not happy. If you're not happy, that's when you do the most questioning. You know when you ha you know when you're happy because you're not so inquisitive to yourself, having all these conversations. And if you all is what you learn, what we got for the Pisces collective spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, I was. Hello, babies. The gate. Hello, booze. Oh, shoot. I don't like when I keep seeing this Harley Quinn come out. The green man. This Harley Quinn figure is not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Winds of change. We just had a change in the wind right here, Pisces. I t I'm telling you things is ending. All right, people. I want to address this person first. The Harley Quinn. True feelings are masked. Listen. 
I'm getting that there's somebody lurking. Somebody have ill intentions. Okay? And I'm getting a lot of jealousy and envy type of energy. Jealousy and envy. Whoever this is, clean your shit up. Clean your shit up. See yourself for who you are. So you can start being so envious and jealous. That is your choice. You have a choice every day you wake up. To, you can choose to work on you and get yourself together. Stop projecting your BS on somebody else. And wondering why you feel this way. Or why your life is that way. Because that's the best foot you put forward. It's you, boo. Dude. Whoever you are. It's you. And this person is not ready to look themselves in the mirror. But that's your fault. <laughs> that's a choice too. Now I'm going to turn this Harley Quinn energy over. Because she's giving me the, the heebie-jeebies. The Oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. I get nothing but Egyptian energy off this car all the time. I get infinite wisdom. When I tell you tell you y'all are going to be leveling up, y'all are going to be leveling up. Ascension, I just heard. Protection. Groundedness. Y'all are being protected by Ra and y'all Egyptian ancestors. If y'all didn't know y'all have some, y'all do. Y'all have Egyptian ancestors. And I heard, I, I heard 1880 or 180, 1880. I don't know what 1880 is, but I heard 1880. Imagination clouds your judgment. The camera. Keep your mind clear. Keep your mind clear. I don't feel it too heavy. It comes and goes. But keep your mind clear, okay? Y'all need clear thoughts, cl clear visions, so y'all can make clear decisions. Keep your mind clear. Thank you. It ain't too bad, so I would touch on it if it was. It's, it's, it's passing thoughts, fleeting thoughts. The spirit. Unseen fortunes watches over you. Yes, yeah, heavily protected. Heavenly guided. Okay? Y'all are fine. If any threats, which I told you about this Harley Quinn, y'all gonna y'all gonna get messages on it. This Harley Harley Quinn energy, self indulgence. I just heard spirit said, promiscuous, and that's why this person has a problem with you. I heard, who do you think you are? This person, not you clearly, not you clearly. Like, what are you talking about? Don't start popping stuff. Your face is turned over. Imagine. I turned the card over and it's popping crap. So my, who do you think you are? Everything. Everything and anything. You like that? Oh, okay. Green man. Forces of nature favor you. Yes. Somebody must have a really good green thumb. Loves plants. Loves nature. And nature loves you back. I hear speak to me. The trees speak to you. Speak to me. The wind speaks to you. Mm-hmm. Love. Y'all are going to be getting love and I told y'all. I'm picking up love for y'all. It's going to take y'all off guard. Y'all not going to be prepared. You know? Because some of y'all been together. But been the love. Come on. <laughs> Some of y'all have been by yourselves for a very long time. Y'all don't even know what that looks like anymore. Like, because y'all changed so much. Y'all changed so much. But it's coming. True love and fidelity. True love and fidelity. What is up with this speech impediment? I know we've been having all these shifts and moon changes, but... And I've been picking up on a lot of energy, and I, it's like a lot of people have a hard time communicating. <sighs> I'm just trying to sit to myself. 
Ooh, child. Release some of that energy. Sheesh. So y'all gonna be getting love and new love offers. Y'all gonna have some old people trying to come back to do with that what you will, okay? Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Change in the wind. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could be moving with this energy. Yes. Somebody could be moving. And wherever you move to is going to be protected by the ancestors. I got Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. That's the Harley Quinn energy. You know the story of Medusa. She was beautiful. She was elegant. She was pure. She was kind. She was all those beautiful things. A lot of women was jealous of her. A lot of men wanted her. She didn't deal with anybody. One of the gods took her virginity when she told one of the goddess they blamed her and turned her into medusa or for jealousy yeah jealousy is a horrible thing it will make you do a lot of messed up things but guess what as you're doing those things you're not hiding from god yeah god sees you and not only do god sees you god warns the people that you're trying to do that to so they can stay away from you. It's always giving us a heads up. Okay? Around the clock. Heads up. So we see you. We know you coming. Because we are heavenly guided. That's why I said we're not going to worry about that, um, that Harley Quinn. Because that energy is not going to come to you. They're just going to watch and stalk, Spirit just said. Watch and stalk. That's all they can do. Some gates are going to be opening up to y'all. Some um, opportunities also. I just heard. Gates, opportunities is going to be opening up for you. Okay? Stay grounded. I heard grounded and founded. Damn, I ain't even pulled no no um cards yet. I, I mean, awful cards. I, awful cards. Tarot cards. I've been hitting those oracle decks. I love those. Those speak to me a lot. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. About this Ten of Cups, I just told y'all. Love. Love on a two-way street. I just heard. Left me on a lonely highway. Ooh, somebody left. Somebody got left on a lonely highway of love. Damn, that's harsh. Been there, done that. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> it was a lesson. That person wasn't for you and it's okay. Or maybe that person didn't even know what was for them. What we got for the Pisces collective spirit? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Like, people forget that some people don't know what they like. You know, they don't take the time to know what they like. And that's why a lot of relationships don't last because they meet people off of false pretenses two of swords up in your head up in your head because y'all been through a lot a lot of healing a lot of growing y'all suffer from, from a little indecision sometimes here and there what else we got for the pisces sun moon rising and venus pisces y'all ain't got too much um Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Queen of Cups. Seven of Coins. Somebody was up in their head about what Wish Fulfillment was. Queen of Cups. And the Seven of Coins. Investing. What were you investing in? How long? Let's find out what's going on with her see what type of queen of cups she is because queen of cups is very intuitive very loving very kind very gentle beautiful too beautiful very homely but can shape shift into different looks you know she has a different look all the time 
but it's very modest, very casual. Okay, tell me about this Two of Swords, Spirit. Tell me about that Two of Swords. What is this confusion for my Pisces Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, about this Knight of Wands? Of course. We already know how the Knights are. We don't stay with Knights. Knights don't stay with anybody. They come and they go. So you don't need to be in your head about this night. This night need to level up. So this is not a concern. Moving on. Nine of Cups. What's, the, what's up with this Nine of Cups? Ooh. You see how it fell out? That's how I'm going to take it. Opposing energy. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. That's opposing energy for this Nine of Cups. Somebody doesn't know what wish fulfillment is. I just was telling you that. Some people don't know what it is. Because they're not being that for themselves. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups over there giving me the eyes. Okay. Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Cups got cheated on, but backstabbed and betrayed. Betrayed, or maybe she was the one who cheated on somebody else and got backstabbed them and betrayed them. Oh, the plot thickens. Okay, this Queen of Cups got dragged into a third party situation that they had no idea of. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt. Hanging man, they had to go within to figure this situation out. They had to go in the th figure this situation out. What we got for the seven of coins? So this person is like trying to understand what what really happened. Judgment, judgment to the seven of coins. Somebody was breadcrumbing somebody hard, and it was this knight of wands who's in question right now. And and not only that. Somebody don't know really what was the truth between this Knight of Wands and these Three of Swords. They they on a fence. They know a lot. But they like, what's up with you, dude? What, what was going on? They never thought this person was like that. But that's why you got to take your time and get to know somebody. Because this situation could have been prevented. It could have been prevented. But maybe it couldn't have. Because look at it like this. If you had the tools and the wisdom to see this situation for what it is before getting into it, you wouldn't have did it. So you, you needed the level up. You needed this, this skill that you learned from this Knight of Wands. This Queen of, Queen of Cups learned something. Judgment was called to this situation. It's breadcrumbing. What was the judgment? Two of Cups to this relationship. What was the judgment, Spirit? Tell me about this judgment. Okay. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Somebody's in deep regret. Up in their head. Can't sleep. I got this eye on here for this nine of swords. Somebody is being worked with. With, with spirit. At night. At night, they get messages from spirit, and they go within astral travel to see exactly who, what, and where. This person I'm picking on needs to know everything before they, they, they make a right decision for themselves. That's so weird because you make a lot of wrong decisions, but when somebody's trying to show you the right thing to do, you need all this extra holding of the hand. But you are always ready to make the wrong decisions. Come on, you got to think about it. I got my spirit guides, my higher power trying to lead me in this direction. But I already came from this direction and I know this is nothing. This is bad. I'm always in trouble over here. Why not go to the other direction? But they need, this person needs spirit and God to give them all this assurance, reassurance. You got none right here. You pretty much have nothing. Like, imagine it. Imagine. Tower card, Scorpio energy. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Bring, bringing the noise. Bringing the noise. This tower has come down. And somebody is in this energy. Four cups energy. Was warned. This person was warned. They were. They seen it. They seen it before they happened. And they walked right into it. Got a message. Knight of Swords. Somebody rushed into something. Death card. Death card. Had to be carried over to Karma Waters. This person got their own head cut off. They could have saved themselves. And now they wishing they would have listened to themselves. Like, damn. They, but they can't say they didn't see that coming because they did. King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that's you. That was in this. First of all, King of Cups was in the reverse. And got the Knight of Wands upright. This is that energy. It started off already being two of swords up in your head. Confusion. The whole thing started off conf with confusion. And look, ending with confusion. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. King of Cups in reverse. We also got, uh, like I said, Pisces. I'm being Scorpio. We got Taurus. We got, um, no, yeah, we got Taurus. We got um, Libra. Mm. Just looking at it like Virgo. Two of Wands needed to make a choice between two with this lovers. Equal give and take. Five of Swords sabotaged. This person sabotaged themselves. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. Knowing you did it to yourself is the worst. So Pisces Collective, this could be you or your person. But somebody self-sabotaged themselves from a good old, good old start. But that's okay because they weren't ready. And if you ain't ready, it ain't for you. So let's see what we got. Moonology. Oh, let me ask a question. How long, people? How long before I get to that? Spirit. What's, what we got good coming to the Pisces Collective? Some moon rising, Venus, and North Node. I heard South Node too. I don't. I don't like South Node. We're gonna leave that out because South Node is a whole nother. Um, somebody must was still in a South Node. Okay, somebody was still in a South Node. That's where you supposed to be elevating from. You supposed to be moving from your South Node into your North Node. That's gonna lead you to your purpose. That that South Node is a no. What we got for the Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And North Node. Four Wands, stability. Y'all gonna get stability along this journey. I heard stability. What else we got good for the Pisces? King of Coins. He came out crossing, so as opposing energy. I don't know. Y'all might not want this King of Coins. What else we got? Okay. Knight of Swords. Well, if y'all don't want this King of Coins, this person is rushing in. He wants a victory or she wants a victory. Oh, my gosh. King of Swords. That's another person, that energy that can be coming towards y'all. He could be real analytical. A little cold, cunning, I just heard. The King of Coins is about stability, grounded, foundedness. And the World Card. Okay. New ending of a cycle. A beginning of a new cycle. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Use the sermon. Use the sermon. Okay, y'all gonna get some offers coming to y'all. Use the sermon. It gotta, it gotta feel good, look good. Everything, everything gotta be on point. You know, we ain't looking for perfect, but we looking for a substance. Okay, people of substance who know who is of substance. Because people be looking for a substance with somebody with substance. And they're not. They don't have any. They don't have any. It'd be the same game. So 
So be careful. And I'm also getting this message. Oh, hold on. Oh, goodness. My nose. Stop it. It's so much. Focus. They focus. Don't, don't, just watch and learn, Spirit is saying. Don't give too much information about you when you start meeting people. Listen to what they got to say. Two? Okay. Listen to what they got to say. It's time to release negativity. Full moon is Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Full moon is Scorpio. A win-win outcome is the forecast. Full moon and Libra. Balance. Things are being balanced out. Scorpio, transmit that new energy. A fiery complex, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon and Aries. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So listen, people. Like I said, we got a lot of different signs in our placement, okay? You could be dealing with a, a Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, or a Capricorn. Okay? But pertaining to this Aries or in Scorpio, there is going to be a fiery climax in approaches. It's going to happen. Something is about to blow up. It's time to release negativity. You got to know what to walk away from. Don't fuel the fire. Don't fuel the fire. Walk away from whatever you can walk away from. Hard work is paying off. Y'all getting a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance. A win-win outcome is forecast, like I said. A lot of blessings, a lot of wins. Stay grounded, stay founded, and pay attention. Thank you, Pisces. Oh, no, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I was about to tip out, like, thank you, Pisces Collective. No. I got to get y'all y'all cards, too. Y'all hidden Oracle Truth cards. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this <laughs> spirit said, this job turkey want to say. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was my spirit, God. He keeps saying this job turkey. Let's see what this job turkey want to say. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you too funny, job turkey. I want to feel that way again. Uh-huh. What we got for the Pisces Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What we got? Damn. This this job turkey want to say a lot. Okay. Listen, somebody want to speak. I heard speak to me. So y'all must not be talking to somebody. Y'all not talking to somebody because I just heard speak to me. Like they trying to manifest you talking to them. They trying to manifest you talking to them. Like speak to me. I heard that loud too. Speak to me. Who are you being demanding with? Like I'm going to need you to relax that part. All right. You don't, you don't control no show over here. You don't control no show over here. So don't act like you do, because you don't. I got, I am grateful for a spiritual le lesson. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. This person is understanding that they are on a journey. This can be somebody's twin flame, soulmate, but I'm getting twin flame. Okay? I know that I was a distraction from your pain. Y'all both was a distraction to each other's pain. Okay? And it needed that it needed to be that way for a, a moment. It needed to be that way for a moment. Somebody really want to get something out because I get keep getting these bursts of impulse like somebody trying to hurry up and do something. Like get up off me. Get up off me. Okay? Get up off me. I'm not available. This person is healing. This is this person is going within. They trying to get themselves centered and grounded. They are not available. They were not available when y'all were together mentally. They were elsewhere. My life is not as together as it seems. 
listen, who who know what it seems like when you look at somebody's life? You can never look at somebody's life because you're just you're you're on the outside looking in. You gotta actually be on the inside and the outside to see it for what it really is. I know that I crossed the line with you. They know they were shameful. Just being near you is intoxicating. Just being near you is intoxicating. I wish I could take back my words. I don't react when people mention you. I feel like they do, but they hide it. We need to let each other go. We will be together again. You speak to me through music. Somebody want to take their words back. They definitely do. They wasted a lot of valuable time being against you instead of getting to know you. They thought they knew you and they didn't. They thought they knew you and they didn't. They couldn't even understand how much they, they that they didn't know you. How they know you when you're learning about yourself every day. It's so many different layers to you. This, this person prejudged y'all. Prejudged y'all. But that's okay. God always hides his blessings in, 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 in plain sight. God always hides his blessings in plain sight. It wasn't meant for you to see because you couldn't see it. Okay? The people who see it know. Alright. What we got, spirit? What sign we got? Mm-hmm. Capricorn, ambitious. What sign we got? Sagittarius, opportunist. What else we got? Pisces. Hello, Pisces. My name is Sherry Napoleon, and I am doing a Pisces read. Pisces, we got intuitive. What else we got? Libra looked like it wanted to jump out. Libra was like, don't leave me behind. I got Gemini, intelligent. I got Cancer for imagination. Okay, anything else, spirit? D double Capricorn. Somebody got double Capricorn in their chart. For ambition, somebody is very ambitious. Du double Capricorn. All right. I think that's it, people. So, I got Capricorn, double Capricorn. I got Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini. Okay. So, like and subscribe to my channel if you like my vibe. I do personal readings. You can find me in the description box and have a good one and enjoy. Thank you, Pisces.